The third method which is approved for cholestin testing is the broth microdilution method which we will be discussing now. The requirements for this method are a cation adjusted muller hinton broth, 10 ml taken in a tube, then an inoculum which you are testing, standardized 2.5 mcferland, microtiter plates which are commercially available coated with different concentrations of cholestin. So here we can see that these commercially available microtiter plates are pre-coated with cholestin sulphate in uh, differing concentrations in each well. This procedure is also given in these kits. So now right now the method that we are doing is you take 60 microgram of the inoculum add it to 13 ml of cation adjusted muller hinton broth mix well and add 100 microliter into each well of the strip so one strip should be used for one isolate here we have tested for two isolates the procedure may be a little varied with different kits which are available that is the disclaimer let us take the reading so after 16 to 20 hours of incubation the well that has completely inhibited the growth should be taken as MIC value. So here we see that the 8 microgram per ml colistin well has completely inhibited the microorganism that we have added. So the MIC here is 8. According to the interpretative guideline, this isolate is resistant to colistin. The next isolate that we have tested is a Pseudomonas aeruginosa. It makes it very easy for interpretation based on uh, the pigment and the growth. So here you see that 2 microgram per ml of colistin well has inhibited the growth completely. And here the MIC value is 2 microgram per ml which is intermediate. A word on the quality control. The frequency of quality control for colistin tests should be done at least once a week if the test is performed once a week. However, the frequency should be more, uh, it should be more frequent if you're going to test colistin or do a colistin testing method more frequently than just once a week. The strains which should be used are mentioned here and the QC range should be between 1 to 4 with the target QC um, range of MIC being 2 microgram per ml. Thank you.